my utmost forest highest, September 8th. This is titled, Do It Yourself. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. That's from 2 Corinthians 10.5. What does that mean? Determinedly demolish some things. Deliverance from sin is not the same as deliverance from human nature. There are things in human nature, such as prejudices, that the saint can only destroy through sheer neglect. But there are other things that have to be destroyed through violence. Wow. That is, through God's divine strength imparted by the Spirit. There are some things over which we are not to fight, but only to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. That's awesome. That's Exodus 14, 13. But every theory or thought that raises itself up as a fortified barrier against the knowledge of God, anything that's opposite God, is to be determinedly demolished by drawing on God's power, not through human effort or by compromise. See 2 Corinthians 10, 4. It's only when God has transformed our nature and we have entered into the experience of sanctification that the fight begins. The warfare is not against sin. We can never fight against sin. Jesus Christ conquered that in his redemption of us. The conflict is waged over turning our natural life into a spiritual life. This is never done easily, nor does God intend it to be so. This is accomplished only through a series of moral choices. God does not make us holy in the sense that he makes our character holy. He makes us holy in the sense that he has made us innocent before him. And when we have to turn that innocence into holy character through the moral choices we make, we have to turn. Let me reread that. Then we have to turn that innocence into holy character through the moral choices we make. These choices are continually opposed and hostile to the things of our natural life, which have become so deeply entrenched, the very things that raise themselves up as fortified barriers against the knowledge of God. We can either turn back, making ourselves of no value to the kingdom of God, making ourselves of no value, okay, I read that already, um, or we can determinedly demolish these things. Yes, demolish them. Allowing Jesus to bring another son to glory. See Hebrews 2.10. Don't turn back. Keep going. You're not where you want to be, but you are innocent before God. And you keep putting those thoughts in your head that glorify God. Because we are responsible not for what gets in our head, but for what stays in our head. All right, let's pray real quick. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Help us to appreciate you today. Help us to acknowledge that we need you, that we are born into sin, and the only way to you is through Jesus the Son. Just help us to start there. Help us to be grateful. Help us to be humble. Help us to work hard. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.